The UNC Department of Psychiatry has a tradition of excellence and of fulfilling our mission of serving the state. We are interested in psychiatry residents who are passionate about our field, who have a deep conviction in serving others, who want to be great team players because we're a very collaborative place, and who are very curious and interested in advancing the field. Part of the reward in working in mental illness is that you get to see impact on patient and their families because so often you're not just treating the patient, you're treating an entire family system. That can be incredibly rewarding to feel like you're improving the lives of that entire unit. When you first start residency, the hardest transition is from being a medical student where somebody is checking behind you, co-signing everything, you can't do much independently, to being a resident where you get to order meds, order studies. People are there to provide supervision, but they're not hovering over your shoulder. So one of the things that changes from year one to year four is your degree of autonomy. One of the nice things about our program is that we have so many experiences throughout and that are, can be really specialized that a lot of us don't actually need to go beyond and do a fellowship because we get so much of that training in general residency. A lot of us can take jobs directly into consult psychiatry without having to do that fellowship. I had gone into med school wanting to be a surgeon, third year pivoted towards psychiatry, and then once I had chosen psychiatry, I'd been looking for places that had everything, to go places that are specific to one thing might be helpful if you're dead set on that, but having access to as like 300 plus faculty members, I'm finding myself gravitating more towards academic, but smaller systems, but knowing that I've seen it all during residency. Any population within psychiatry that we want to get exposure to and that we want to have expertise in, we can get that exposure and we can work with a mentor. And so I think now in our fourth year, applying to jobs, it feels really good to feel like there's no patient population in psychiatry I don't feel comfortable managing. And, and that's really nice going into the workforce with that. We appreciate our residents start out coming from a wide variety of medical schools all over, from all over the country. And I think that's a strength because they have a diversity of experiences. Folks don't come here with a uniform background. We take people as they are and we, we get them to the point where they need to be by the time they graduate. We have really supportive faculty in our department and there's always someone that you could talk if you need help with anything. So they're really supportive. Oh, Dr. Dawkins. We love Dr. Dawkins. <laughs> She's like the mama of the pack. Whatever it is, she's on top of it and she doesn't miss a beat. I love meeting just people in general, the different personalities, um, problem solving. It's a lot of fun. Different people come from different cultures. Uh, you, you learn a lot of things. The, their background so fascinating. The, the language, it's a lot, it's, but it's wonderful. It's, it's very wonderful. I just feel confident going into the field, going into work, like we've seen so much and we've rubbed shoulders with so many experts and even if I run into a scenario down the line that I don't know what to do, I've got a whole armamentarium of experts that I can call on uh, whose number I've got on my phone and I can ask an expert a question down the line when I'm later in my career. So. I feel supported, I feel prepared, I feel confident, and honestly, I think anyone that graduates from this program should feel the same. We are a very, very well-respected department and collaborate broadly with all other departments in the School of Medicine. Our psychiatry residents are smart, are thoughtful, are engaged, and see themselves as playing an important role in both taking care of patients as well as interfacing with our colleagues across all other professions of medicine. One really special thing about UNC is that we have the opportunity to really dive deep into some subspecialties of psychiatry yeah. and, and really anything that you want to learn and get involved with, you can, especially in fourth year, which has been really exciting this year. There aren't a whole lot of psychiatry departments that have their own staff philosopher, yeah. that have like a child and adolescent psychiatry like policy expert um, who's advocating for us with the, like, the state government. There are a lot of ways in which I think the work that we do 
really powers the mission of the university and the mission of the healthcare system in a way that you don't see even among other um, peers among like large uh, state academic institutions. The single largest thing that's kept me here is the people. The people I include my faculty colleagues and also the resident doctors. And when you're around a high achieving group, but also a very kind and uh, welcoming and warm group of people, that just inspires you to be better and it inspires you to feel like this is a great place to be. And for me, that has been the single largest thing that has kept me here through many years. Through I, I did my residency training here as well as my faculty, my entire faculty career. Was Dr. Dawkins your program director? She sure was. We have a really good community here. I mean, I think our residency class has become a family. I mean, I have children and my children know everybody in the class and it's it's been a great support system. We've been able to have each other to lean on and I think that's been really cool. And then the faculty have also been, been great and easily accessible and, you know, learned a lot from them, but also like just, you know, had made some really good connections here and that's been great. In partnership with the healthcare system with UNC Health, we are able to open a new psychiatric hospital for children and adolescents that's opening later this month. We are transforming how we do interventional psychiatry. We've played key roles in the development of the first drugs, both IV and oral drug for postpartum depression. We have an incredibly innovative program in community mental health, taking care of some of our most vulnerable facing psychotic and other disorders. And we're a leader in addiction care and innovative models of providing addiction treatment, among others. It's a department that loves innovation, new ways of doing things, and we have really harnessed the ability to increase access by using virtual care to reach our patients we serve across all of UNC Health entities. So it's an incredibly exciting time. We're always wanting to stay on the edge of doing innovative ways of educating our residents so they feel that their education is meaningful and engaging to be in partnership with our colleagues across medical surgical departments in the hospital and to be really on the cutting edge of science and discovery. One of the things we want to impart to residents is knowledge continues to grow and expand. I, after all these years, am still learning. I haven't seen it all. I haven't done it all. Patients still surprise me. There are clinical scenarios that are still unique. And that's one of the things we want our residents to understand that sense of compassion, understanding, patience, empathy, non-judgmental, that is probably something that bleeds into and is a factor in my life, period.